Hey everyone, it's Char from Char's Fascination. And today is when I have started to do the habit for the Christmas collaboration with Crocheting Me Too. So I said that I would be doing a hooded this is what I've started. Now, as you guys know, I got a couple of skeins of car and yarn from Michael's Crafty, and I got a green one. Now, the person that I got this for, um, I'm actually going to be sending the funny hat to, um, and the gloves. So, so far, this because I'm going to, oops, sorry, yeah, that kind of makes my hair go funny there. Um, this, because she has glasses, and I know Juliet does too, um, so this will fit fine with glasses on. This is great. Um, so I've got half of just one row done, so I will be able to do the other half, and I, um, the brown tone of the yarn for the contrasting yarn to make the antlers will go with this. So, since we're doing antlers, that will match with that. I don't know how well you guys can tell because of the lighting in here, but that will match with that. This is actually not a dark brown, this is a taupey light color. Let's see what it says in here. It's the impeccable. This is 190 yards. This is made in India. And uh, yeah, let me see the color on here. Um, is a uh, rose bourbon, but it's a brown. Bourbon is brown, but it'll go with this. It'll go with this just fine. So, other than that, I did go to my favorite person today at the um, flea market. She gave me some extra uh, Tapes. And here's something that I was going to purchase from her, but since she knows it's my birthday month as well. Yes, it's my birthday month. Um, I'm going to show you something that she, she gave this to me. And this is an antique. Uh, professional buttonholer by Singer. Look how antique this is. Oh my gosh. This is beautiful. Like, look at the buttonholes you can make. You, you just can't find these anymore. Um, here's how it's packaged. Right? So this is a twofer here. This is a twofer. The booklet did come with it. It's just in one of the other bags. Well, it's right here. The booklet did come with it. So that's great. Everything is here. Um, and what I mean everything, I mean everything is here. So there's nothing missing from and I mean nothing missing from this at all. Look at that. Excuse me. Um, I mean, there's nothing missing from this. Get lost. You'll have to ignore that Snorlax sound. That's just Rocco from Romeo's Rocco. Say hi, Rocco. That's Rocco saying 
front and just say hi. <laughs> we can laugh about that. Um, he was very patient with me today. He waited while I was fabric shopping. I mean, like, look at the skies. You just don't see the stuff anymore. Um, for sewing machine stuff, you just don't see this anymore. I mean, serious. All of this is here. Where do we see this anymore? We don't. We don't find this kind of stuff anymore. I believe it right there. Uh, yes, it does. Um, and I found the spots on like how this rest of this actually weighs in the box. And, oh my gosh, I'm so happy. She has, she's the sweetest old lady. Um, she's so sweet. And she didn't know what to do with this except for give it to somebody that actually sewed. Um, so, yeah. I'm like, real pieces. Real the pieces that, you know, like I said, it comes with the book. Oh, it looks like it used to have needles. Maybe that's what she was talking about, is she had some old needles that she didn't know what to do with. Maybe that's what she was talking about. Um, oh my gosh. This thing is precious. That's the instructions. Accessory plate. Needles, zigzag sewing machine. Oh my gosh. So, um, I have something that, like, I picked these up. She told me these were tablecloths, but I'm, look, you can buy two ta matching tablecloths and turn them into a garment. So that's exactly what I did. Is I bought two of this beautiful fabric. And for my friend that I'm making the hat for, right? I'm making the crocheted hat for. I'm going to take these two beautiful, beautiful tablecloths and make her a beautiful garment because she's a beautimous person. That's actually my word to use, beautimous. She's a beautimous person. This is beautimous fabric. Deserve something beautimous. Just because she's a person. Um, and she needs some uh, beautimous fashion in her life. And look at how pretty that is. Look at that. Is that pretty? I, I love this. Like, look at this on the ends. That's so pretty. Um, so I thought she would like that and in a way. This green yarn kind of matches it. So she could wear this something I'm going to make out of this. Be a little funny around the office and wear the hat. Um, so, but that's not all. That is not all. It's a fabric. Oh my gosh. Um, what is this shiny? What is this shiny, shiny? I found two squares of this beautimous and two squares of this beautimous at the little fabric store that I go to. And um, see, I just haven't unfolded these two, but they're about the same size. So I was like, holidays coming up. Now, wouldn't that be pretty for, like, making a pillow? See, that would be a pretty pillow. Right? 
Wouldn't that be pretty for a pillow? If you just have a, a holiday pillow, or just like you like something like this, and it's just pretty to have around, I think that would be pretty as a pillow. Um, I really do. So, um, they discounted this for me after at the uh, fabric store. Uh, because I wore this today in the fabric store, and that's the fabric that I got in the little mom and pop store. And I let them try it on, and they're like, oh my gosh, this is sewn so well. If you go into the fabric store where you got the fabric from, and you let them actually try on the garment that you made, they love you for it. Um... And no, PETA is not coming after me for the faux fabric that I bought. <laughs> this, isn't this pretty? There was two and a half yards of this. And it was on sale for 50% off. And the regular retail price was fourteen dollars is the regular price. Fifteen or fifty percent off fourteen. And they only had two yards, well two and a yeah, two and a, two and a half yards left. But they decided to discount it more for me. So um and it's unfortunate because they're actually uh, deciding to close their doors soon. And I got a yard of this one because that's all that was left of it. And it's so soft. It's so soft. They're like, what are you doing with these things? Wait, oh no, I took back. It was a yard of that one and a yard of the other one. This is the one that was two and a half. Years. I'm sorry. My flu boot there. This was the two and a half one. And they gave me some, some of it for free. Isn't that pretty? This is pretty. This is pretty. So, what I'm thinking, what I'm thinking with this one, which is only a yard, right? And this one that's only a yard is face them, you know, together and make a throw. Just make a throw at them. Who wouldn't like this as a blanket? Who wouldn't like something like this as a blanket? And it's soft. It's like cold like this and it's all nice and soft. And I'll cuddle with it. And it is pet. It's like a kitty cat. <laughs> yeah. Right? Uh, absolutely. And it was on sale. So, um, they didn't charge me much for this one. This one was on sale. This one was, this one, regular price was $8 a yard. And they gave me half off of eight, and there was only a yard here, so we were good with that. <laughs> right? Um, but, oh, I think that's so nice. And these two are equal in softness, so, like, there's two and a half yards of this one, so pick your own. I don't know. I don't know. Because I have some liner. This may end up being. Ooh, you know what that'd be cool as? A bathrobe. A bathrobe. That would be a cool bathrobe. Just soft and 
furry, you know, we have to have glasses. <laughs> um, now, as for these being matching pillows, like holiday matching pillow or just matching pillow, I might just go ahead and do those and just do a giveaway on those. Or just because, like, I may find somebody that loves these two, like, silver and blue color. So I think that's pretty together. Um, I really do. I think that's pretty together. And, um, but as for this, I may have to make a bathroom. And then what do I do with my other bathroom? Because that was just a quick throw together thing. Um, but you guys, you know what? That is not all of my haul. Remember how I said I needed winter boots? Did I not show something else? Oh, I, yeah, I did show that. Okay, anyway. So, I told you guys I needed winter boots. Now, originally, and look. We all know that this company is expensive. We all know Harley Davidson is expensive. Um, normally these were priced at $125. And I was worried, you know, that because the other ones I actually wanted um, wouldn't go over my calf muscles because I have a thick calf. Um, so I settled for the ankle boot, the Harley Davidson ankle boot. They're really nice. I can adjust the straps. It's a good boot. The heel isn't too high. This is a made in America product. And Harley Davidson has been a staple of America for a while. I'm not saying anything made somewhere else isn't as good. Um, but this is a product that's been, that's been helping a lot of military veterans for a while. Their company, their motorcycles, owned by, by a bunch of different people around America and around the world, quite frankly, by different people that own their own shops. And uh, Adam Sandoval still rides his Harley. Um, and his war horse is what helped uh, bring a lot of good things for military. So, it was like, you know, I saw these, they were originally 125 I got these for less than that today. Um, they fit well. I'm happy with that. It's a great boot. It's an awesome boot. And... I didn't have to spend a lot on these, and I'm happy with that. So, real leather. They're they're soft. They're 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 great. They're they're a smooth boot. If I wanted to, yeah, I could polish them all nice and glossy shine, but I like them the way they are. I may not be able to drive, I may not be able to ride, I'd love to, but I'll support our troops, our men and women at Harley Davidson supports with Adam Sandoval just by wearing a boot. This reminds me, we go to Adam Sandoval riding. Adam Sandoval's website. I purchased his shirts, his merch. I want one of his uh, hats 
say we are the Americans or the American. Um, I want one of those. And uh, also would like to. Uh, this is nice. This is nice. I like all this fabric I bought today. Uh, I can't wait to make stuff. I'll be making stuff for people. Okay? I'm actually making stuff for other people. This is not for me. These are not for me. These are for other people. And as you guys ever really notice, I don't make a lot of stuff for me. I make a lot of stuff for other people. And why? Because I'm used to making sure that if a friend needs something or somebody needs some help and I have the means to do that, I'll do it. Um, reach out into your community like that. Absolutely. Reach out into your community and see. And I know I've said this before. And probably like a broken record. If there's anything you can do in your community to help. Whether it's knit, crochet, sewing, baking, just reading a book to some kids in a school. Um, become involved in your community somehow. Excuse me. Um, there's a lot of ways that you could find out if we have PSA officers, public service announcement officers. Um, I know when I lived in Philadelphia, I was the only black captain that ever showed up for PSA. Um, my PSA 1 officer, he was always very happy somebody finally show up. Somebody. And there were a couple of times where other people followed me to go to the meetings. And that's because they were curious. Like, what are you doing hanging out with a cop? Okay, well, you know, you have to get involved in be creative in how you do things and make sure that your community is safe if other people are in need of things. In fact, I had gotten a young man a job. And people were like, oh, there's no jobs. I can't find no job for summer. And lo and behold, they're like, oh, you'll never get this kid a job. Lo and behold, I found the kid a job for the summer. It had just been a summer job, but it was a job. Never think that you can't, I was just taking the label off, um, never think that you can't get out there and help your community like that. Oh, looky, looky. Oh, now we can turn this around. Now we can turn this around and start going the other way. Yay! Right? I'm going to do one more loop. And then, <clears throat> this isn't going to be like the other hats, where we attach it like that until we get to a certain point, right? And then we can do that. So, we just turn it, take the loop. Turn it. Now this is where you want to go through one, go through two, go through two, and then bring it up. And then this time I want to go back to that same one. Go through one, go through two, go through two, and you have that square. 
Now you guys know I will teach you when I do these videos. I will teach you. Um, yeah. So to the next one, repeat that same process of going through two <coughs> and then go through two. And except for this time, when you have that loop on there, I want you to extend it with one more. Oh, geez. Why? Because now you're going to do look at that next one. Go up, go through, extend. This is going to make this, this much quicker to do. Much quicker. See, that's coming along real, real quick. So, um, this is going to be a fantastic, fantastic piece for you to do. I love how Julia is coming along. I'm sorry I'm a day late on starting one. Um, it's just that yesterday I was really tired. Had uh, errands to run and stuff to do. Still pain day. Uh, have my bills to pay. So I was a little tired. And Julia, I hope you feel better. Um, I've been healing the soup recipe, but if you want to, in the microwave, put some water. Um, in until it's hot or just like <coughs> boil some water pour that in a coffee cup or a tea cup put in some bouillon and uh, three drops of balsamic vinegar I know that sounds harsh. With with uh, some parsley and stir it. Anyway, see how, like, how quick that is? So, um, yeah, I'm going to take it through. Anyway, and then take it through, take it through. I'm done with this video I'm loading it. I'm actually going to be speaking to the person that I'm making this for. Turn on the light in here while I'm doing that. Um, so until the next one, where I'll have more of this hat done, then it's going to be funny because when I'm done with the hat, and hopefully I'll have enough of this yarn left, then I plan on making some gloves that look like hooves. <laughs> That's going to be fun. Um, <coughs> okay, Juliet Nay got me. <laughs> That's funny. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. No, actually, it's just this weather. It's the weather. Whether or not we want 
believe it is actually just the weather. Um, so everybody out there, stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed. And I will see you tomorrow when I have more of this done. Um, and hopefully you enjoyed seeing some of my birthday month haul. And I, I, I'm thinking, you know, like, leave in the comments below. Should I make a throw blanket out of this? Or just a throw blanket? nice and stretchy. Oh my gosh. It's nice and stretchy. This one isn't though. Where is it? This one has a little stretch, just a poquito. Don't quote me on too much of my Spanish. I'm not that fluent. This one has some stretch too. It's just the stretch goes this way. See? Um, oh my gosh, this is gonna be amazing. Ooh, two and a half yards of this one. Okay, so leave in the comments below what you want to see me do with this. I think this one right here, especially since it's not really stretchy, this one would make a good throw. The other thing I thought about doing with this one was taking some broadcloth and maybe making some uh, around the house moccasins out of it. But you tell me. You tell me. Um, but it would also make a good throw. Um, but remember, this is faux fur, not real fur. The real fur would cost way too much. And, you know, we don't want to do that thing to leopards and cheetahs and uh, jaguar. And that was rough. That was fun. Scare the bejeebus out of me with that thing. <laughs> exactly. Um, so. Okay, guys trying to hold that. I will see you in the next one. See you then tomorrow night. Good morning wherever you are around the world.